What's up, YouTube? We're talking chem lights. Coming right up. All right, chem lights, pretty boring topic here, but with all the natural disasters going on right now in the US, here in the end of August, beginning of September, figured, why not? I've got a bunch of them sitting around, I've got some battery ones, got some old ones. This one expiration date was 2008, I believe. Got some mini ones. So I'm gonna do a real quick talk about some chem lights here. All right, so as I said, this yellow one, yellowish green packaging says it's yellow, came out of this guy. Expiration September 2008, so right at nine years old still bright i don't know if it'll last 12 hours but i'm betting it'll be pretty damn close i will uh maybe update the i'll let you know in the description down below but yeah so that's cool right there goes past the expiration i don't know of many batteries that will probably last 10 years after their stated expiration date um Use chem lights for all kinds of stuff. Marking, quick, um, quick light somewhere. You can mark guy lines on a tent. Um, some are more intense than others. Got an old actual chem light here. Still Siloom. Only recommend Siloom as much as I can help it. They're kind of the uh, the number one. So this is the military chem light. Supposedly, the safety light sticks are actually a stronger, uh, stronger glow because they don't have to include some weird DOD requirement. Here we got an infrared one. I'm not gonna snap that one. Don't even think you'd be able to see it. Well, you wouldn't, unless I turn the lights off. Camera might pick it up then. But uh, yeah, chem lights are pretty useful. Got some mini chem lights here. I stick these in wallets and stuff. Little um, little kits just to have something. Flashlight dies, whatever. I have enough light to change the batteries by at least if it's that dark or find the batteries in the bag. Ah, uh, something I've been checking out recently is these battery powered ones. I got two brands. Let's see which one I like better. This one is Nighties. And I think I like this one best so far. Simple twist. Twist on, twist off. Comes a little carabiner. Haven't tested the duration because I don't really feel like wasting it now. I just kind of keep a rough track of how much I use it. This one is a little more cool. Well, it's got more features. I don't know if it's more cool. I don't like it as much. Life gear. It's got a flashlight. It's got a flashlight and the red chem light. It's got just the chem light. It's got a flash. And it's got a whistle down here at the end. So definitely a little bit more feature rich. Um, I don't really know that you need features on a chem light. I kind of just want it to provide some colored light. Um, but you, it's got it if you need it. This one is much more straightforward. Twist it on, you get your green light. Twist it off, light goes away. Both are about the same price. I think they're about four or five bucks on Amazon. I can link them below. And then your more standard actual chem light, not just a colored light stick, but an actual snap it, chemicals mix, and you get some light. Like I said, these things keep forever. Got 2008 here, and it's glowing fine. I snapped this about 15, 20 minutes ago. So that's always good to know. Come in different intensities. Uh, they've even got ones that come in a flat, like a, like a large bandage size. You can stick those on walls and stuff. Great to have an emergency if your batteries run out, uh, you need to change your batteries, you just need to mark some 
um, sky lines for a tent, uh, clothesline if you're camping, something like that, you're out in the woods for a while, antenna wires or something like that, uh, all around, very handy, something you should keep around. And quickly back to the red ones, I like to keep a couple regular red snap cam lights in my car, and I'll probably throw this one back in the car. Just as you know, red is the is a stop brake lights, uh, traffic lights, stop signs. So if my car breaks down and the battery's dead or something along the side of the road, and I have to be there, I can at least have something red that I can attach to myself or the back of the car if I'm still there, so that it's a little more than just a blacked out car uh, sitting on the side of the road at night. Should that happen. <laughs>